Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. Hope you're doing super fantastic wherever you're at. In this edition, I'm going to be doing the top five things I don't like about my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. And the top five things, yes, five things I do like about my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. I bought this unit in December of 21, that's over two years ago, and it's a 22 edition of the 2205S. Let's get started. Starting my uh, list of negatives for this Rockwood Mini Light is this uh, recliner. This recliner. It's starting to fall apart. It's all Wongo. It's, uh, it's not very good quality and uh, it's loose here. I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. Uh, maybe you can help me in the comment section. Tell me, hey, just yank the whole thing out and put it back together in a better way. So what do you think? Again, uh, this is my, oops, it goes all the way back there and it's not, not good. It's really, just imagine if I have a coffee or soda here and I bump it, it just goes that way, if I bump it goes that way, and it just maybe goes back here. Who knows? All I can say, it's not good. One of the main things I dislike about, and I've had to repair, uh, it seems like on a constant basis, are the cabinets of my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. This is made out of plywood, plywood, solid wood. Slides are screwed into the particle board and this particle board is covered in a plastic wrap. This is crap. This is absolute crap and uh, as you're going down the road the cabinets move and I've had to add uh, magnets and other uh, ways of uh, keeping these uh, drawers closed. Again I replaced the slides. I replaced the wood area back there. I've had to add some glue, kind of material, glue, I'd add glue, goop, wood putty, and I have magnets, like for example, right here, that attach here, so they can stay in place, so they don't open while I'm going down the road and spill everything. And in fact, my cabinets have fallen on the ground. That's number two, that's horrible. Right below the TV is the audio system. And then finally, right there, is the display and controls for your GoPower PWM charge controller. And again, display. The worst place in the known universe to put a charge controller. Professionals put their charge controllers next to the battery. You know, so it's more efficient. And also professionals use MPPT, multi-point power tracking charge controllers, not this piece of crap, PWM, pulse width modulated. Again, this is a piece of crap. Uh, cost probably uh, the folks at uh, Rockwood 20 bucks to put this in. They should have spent 50 bucks and put a decent one and closer to the battery. So coming from uh, this direction, is the wiring from the uh, solar panel. Going in the, this direction, from here to there, is the uh, power going to the batteries from the charge controller. So the charge controller converts solar power into uh, a regulated 12 volt power for the batteries. Again, this is a poor location and also poor quality product. PWM is a piece of crap and uh, MPPT is significantly better. Everybody knows that, that knows about charge controllers. Just saying, just saying. Under here somewhere is, uh, are my water tanks. They hold over 50 gallons of water. But if you're going down a bumpy road, bumpity bumpity bump, uh, the, uh, the supports 
for the water tank uh, preclude you from uh, actually having them full. So you're only supposed to put like 10 gallons, 12 gallons, maybe 15 gallons of water if you're going boondocking in those tanks. That's because again, they didn't support them. They decided, hey, in their infinite wisdom, not to uh, support, you know, give some serious metal under there to support 50 plus gallons of water. When I bought this unit, I said, hey, this thing could hold 50 gallons of water. I can do some serious boondocking with this. But uh, no way, Jose, you're only supposed to put 15 gallons. So I got to put extra water in my truck and then pour it, you know, in the uh, potable water fill in here after, only after I get to my boondocking location. So those are the facts. About a year ago, I replaced uh, my plastic standard uh, battery box that's designed for one 12 volt battery or two old school six volt wet cell batteries with this metal box that I bought at Harbor Freight and it served me very well. I did, hey, there goes my uh, propane jack cover. So, again, uh, the newer batteries by uh, the various lithium manufacturers, battery manufacturers, are a little bit smaller and they probably could fit the old plastic, you know, battery box. But uh, I decided, you know, because they weren't available at the time last year, that uh, my batteries are a little bit bigger two lithium batteries and this works much better and of course it closes very nicely the only way I can uh, get access to my batteries is if I take off the propane tank cover because it's a pretty tight squeeze so that's an extra security feature so that's number five things I would uh, like uh, the folks at uh, Rockwood Mini Light, Flagstaff to uh, fix, change, whatever. <laughs> Starting off uh, the list of things I do like about my Rockwood Mini, I like, that. I like the fact that it has two, two 30 pound tanks. Very nice, not 20 pound tanks. I haven't even used one of my tanks uh, or, you know, gone to empty so uh, and I've gone camping I estimate hmm, how many times uh, 30 times in the last uh, two years again I don't use much propane I'm a kind of usually the places I go have hookups for electricity so I only use the propane when I do some uh, stovetop cooking or use the oven that's number one Another thing I like about my Rockwood Mini Light has this very large pass-through area. Uh, it has significant storage area. I have no issues storing all my tools that I need for my Rockwood. Uh, you know, my uh, parts right here. This is for the uh, equalizer hitch. And uh, back there, I, of course, I have my leveling pads. The list goes on. Extra water. My sewage hoses are on the other side, etc., etc. So, plenty of room in the front pass through area. I like that. Again, thanks for checking out RV and Travel Adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So, these are the Goodyear Endurance tires. Previous, I think, to 2021, 2022, they were using some uh, cheaper tires that were manufactured in China. These are manufactured in the good old Estados Unidos, United States of America. These are high quality tires. I've had zero issues with them. They stayed uh, inflated and they don't get too hot because I have a, uh, you know, I can check their temperature inside my car because I have a little gauge, I have a little meter. So again, these are highway tires, not off-road tires, and they work absolutely perfectly going down the old road. No noticeable tread wear to speak of, okay? So these should last me another, at the rate I go camping, maybe five, six, seven times a year for a total of maybe three, four weeks worth of camping. Uh, 
Uh, these should last me quite a while. I've gone to Houston, I've gone to Missouri, I've gone to Arkansas, I've gone to Indiana, I've gone to Illinois, the list goes on, places that I've gone camping. And uh, again, going down the highway, no issues. They track very well and they are showing, relatively speaking, no tread wear. And numero cinco things I like, actually my wife likes, I prefer to replace this mattress with a Tempur-Pedic memory foam style mattress. But she says she likes the mattress, so we're keeping this mattress. It's queen size, plenty of room for the two of us. And uh, after a hard day of hiking, cycling, and uh, meandering about and checking things out, uh, I pretty much can sleep in anything. Previous to having this uh, travel trailer, we did tent camping and we also did some truck bed camping and our mattresses were about the size maybe an inch if we're lucky two inches if we're super lucky this is definitely an upgrade over tent and uh, truck bed camping but again what do you think leave your kind and friendly comments below avajo tell us what you think of this uh, travel tour this rockwood mini light 2205s <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for checking out my five likes and five dislikes of the Rockwood Mini Light 2205S 2022 edition. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting and useful. A lot of you folks out there are technically uh, proficient. You can fix a lot of these things because, again, you are technically proficient. As for me, I am not uh, so adept. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And leave your comments uh, below and ring the bell for future notifications. And if you're interested, check out my photographs, my RVTA-specific photographs at uh, rvta.myportfolio.com. Thanks for checking out my video. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.